Hi, I'm Kyle Mitchell. The Indiana Supreme Court has denied the appeal of convicted murderer John Myers. A jury convicted Myers of killing 19-year-old Indiana University student Jill Bierman in 2000. Myers' attorneys filed the appeal in September, saying some jurors' wild behavior at their hotel was grounds for a mistrial. Myers is serving a 65-year prison sentence. Well, the presidential election isn't until Tuesday, but many people have already cast their ballots. Experts are predicting a high turnout on Tuesday after record numbers for early voting. Young people are an important part of the Obama base. The youth vote certainly was important during the primaries, and it looks like that's carrying over to the general election. And a lot of that is very much attributable to Senator Obama, who has stimulated an enormous interest among young voters and young people. Will the voter irregularity controversy of the 2000 election happen again this year? This is not going to be a terribly close election. And it's when we really have these very, very close elections that any kind of deviation uh, from normal election mechanics can have a big effect on the outcome. I don't expect that that's going to be the case this year. The sale of Halloween masks often predicts the winner. So will it be Obama or McCain? No, I wouldn't say that's a very good indicator of who's going to win. Uh, uh, no, I, uh, there are many other indicators one might look at, but that's not an especially good one. I For your up-to-date state and area election coverage and results, tune in to WTIU on Election Day and visit WTIU.Indiana.edu. Governor Mitch Daniels and First Lady Sherry Daniels will dress in 1950s attire as they greet trick-or-treaters at the governor's residence tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. in Indianapolis. While well, the IU football team continues its quest to play 13 on Saturday as IU hosts non-conference foe Central Michigan. Last week, the Hoosiers earned their first win since September, upsetting Big Ten nemesis Northwestern. Quarterback Ben Chappell made his second consecutive start while throwing for more than 200 yards and two touchdowns. IU's defense forced five turnovers and limited Wildcats running back Terrell Sutton to 77 rushing yards. The game will air Saturday at noon on the Big Ten Network. For WTIU News, I'm Kyle Mitchell.